and welcome to a North Wales side by side video. It's an absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon, 28th of April, and I'm out in the MR2. Um, this pisses me off. Our council have just spent millions and millions of pounds redeveloping the promenade and they've built a perfectly good cycle track yet the cyclists aren't using it they're, they're going down the middle of the road this really really winds me up when they've got the facilities built specifically for them well forget the cyclists not using the cycle track but what I want to talk about is the new Euro 7 emission standards for light and heavy duty vehicles in the European Union. Right, in December 18th of 2023, the European Parliament and the Council of the European Union reached an, another agreement on new emission standards for light duty and heavy duty vehicles. Right, reading through all the documentation, what I can make sense of. They're saying Euro 7 tailpipes emission limits for light duty are identical to Euro 6. So, as far as exhaust emissions concerned, we've got nothing to worry about. But the one that gets me, and the way I... I can't figure out how they're going to implement this and what they're going to do in the respect of how they're going to monitor it. Is they're going to be checking brake emissions and tyre particulate emissions? I don't understand and I can't get my head around how they are going to monitor brake emissions and tyre emissions but they've set some figures and they're saying from the date of implementation until December 2029 if it's a electric vehicle, an EV, you're allowed to emit 3 milligrams per kilogram of brake emissions, which is brake dust and any particulates come off the brake discs. Now any other powertrain which is internal combustion engine, diesel, hybrid, 7 milligrams per kilometre. What I want to know is how are they going to collect the emissions? Are they going to be using collection devices like a vacuum device to collect it in a container? Or are they going to be using more sensors on cars making cars more and more complicated? Now the next one they're going to be monitoring is tyre particular emissions so again how are they going to monitor the emissions of tyres are they going to have another vacuum device specifically for the tyres are they going to have more electronic sensors which monitor the emissions of tyres I don't know I don't know how they're going to do it but what I do know is they're making cars more and more complicated making cars more and more complicated puts more and more failure points into a car which is going to make cars more and more unreliable what I am going to do is in the link in the video I'm going to put the link to the PDF file which 
like you could go and read that explains what they want out of the emission standards for Euro 7 on cars, light duty vehicles, heavy duty vehicles and it takes quite a bit of reading to get your head around what they're trying to do. But what I actually think they're trying to do is make it harder and harder for manufacturers to make vehicles that can comply with the regulations, making vehicles more expensive, making vehicles more complicated and more prone to break down. And just another excuse to take a vehicle off the road if it doesn't comply with the emissions standards. It's all about the war on motorists and getting us out of our cars.